guys. So I'm just going to walk you through how we're going to make these cards and then and the products I've used or most of the products I've used and then I will show you the video of how we actually put all that stuff together because it's quite long-winded there's quite a lot of steps but I thought it'd be a good idea to show you what I did. So the products I used were the Ganzai Tambi Starry Colours and these actually have like um, six different golds if you like so there's like a, a blue gold a red gold yellow gold champagne light gold and white gold um, I think white gold was the only one I didn't actually use um, so I just I just kind of ran with whatever worked for me <laughs> at the point of coloring or painting um, I then used I'm I'm pretty sure it was another one I filmed this the other part of it quite a long time ago um, but I think it was either a number one, this is like a aqua marker, you fill this bit with water and then just use it like a paintbrush. Um, pretty sure I used a number one, but it's whatever you want to use. If you want to use a paintbrush and water, do that too. Um, so, uh, let's see. And then I used, to ink the edges, I used Distress Oxide ink in black soot and vintage photo um, and a couple of these these are just makeup brushes but there's some um, art companies that have their own version of this but this is all it is for me um, it's a lot cheaper for me <laughs> um, to be honest and then what I'd also done to start with was embossed using uh, Stampin' Up's uh, copper embossing powder um, it's quite a fine detail but it's it's a nice sheen of copper if that makes sense so these are the two cards and the idea behind this is that I used white on one and black cardstock on the other just to see what would happen how it would turn out whether it would be anything to go by <laughs> you know is it, is it worth doing it this way um, kind of thing <laughs> so this is actually a watercolor paper that I used um, I can't remember the brand, don't think that really matters, but I used a white watercolour paper. I believe you can get black watercolour paper, I just don't have any, so I'll explain what I did there. But what I did on both of them is I have had either my black or white cardstock, I heat embossed this image. This image is um, a flower fairy called Zinnia, um, and I've had this stamp probably 12 years, and I can't give her up, so... <laughs> Um, this is, so I stamped and then heat embossed her in the copper, as you can see there with the shine. I also did the same with the, um, sentiment and, um, on the same colour cardstock and, um, started painting with these, uh, metallic, uh, paints. Um, I also, uh, did the same thing on the black cardstock. This is just stamping up um, basic black cardstock. And so I did exactly the same thing. Heat embossed her and the sentiment in the same color cardstock. What I did afterwards was I used the inks to go around the edges in the same way. And then I also used the paint again to splatter over the, across, the, across the front of them. Um, the card bases are an A2 size card, but this is Crushed Curry by Stampin' Up. So, um, that's it. That's as easy as it gets. So, um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you at the end of it. See you later. Bye.
Thank you.